Hey everyone, in this video I will show you how to add camera movements and camera shakes to your flipper clip animations. I have always included this in some tutorials, but I have never really explained it to you that well, so I will do this in this video. The stick fight in which the camera movement will be included was animated in the last tutorial and you can watch it before this video to understand how I animated the stick fight. And if you want to learn more about animations, you can subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. At the beginning you have to merge all the layers with the stick figures so you can move all the stick men with the lasso. Then go to the frame where you want to start with the camera movement. Before we start adding the camera movements, I would like to explain what a good camera position looks like. Without the camera position, the stick figures might be too far on the right side or too far on the left side of the picture. With camera movement, we want to move the figures somewhere in the middle of the frame. As you can see, the stick figures move too far to the right at the beginning and too far to the left at the end. Now you just have to move the single frames to the center so that the camera can follow the movements of your characters. To do this, click on the lasso marked red in the video and surround the figures with it. Now you can move them wherever you want. After you have moved all images to the right place, you can now include the camera shake. This will make a punch or an explosion look more powerful. For example, this is a punch without a camera shake. And this is a punch with a camera shake. And as you can see, it is definitely more intense. To create a camera shake, you have to move the background and the stick figures up or down. I only move them down a little bit because otherwise the camera shake is too extreme but you can decide for yourself how much you want to shake the camera. Then you add the camera shake in every frame where the stick figures are executing the punch. For this kick I move the background and the stick figures a little bit more down and then also move them up a little in the next frame because I want this kick to look stronger than the other one. Last but not least I add some camera shakes every time the stick figure hits the ground.
And that's it for today's tutorial, I hope I could help you and if so, don't forget to subscribe and share the video with your friends. I see you in the next video and be sure to check out my new animation if you haven't already. Bye bye.